Yo, what's up everyone? Project Moto here and down at Ducati Chelmsford today and today we're finally going to have a look at and a ride of the Pikes Peak. Right, are. bruv? You better hurry up, the weather's about to change. I'll, I'll do all the pushing. Yeah, you do all the pushing, eh? Let's have a look at that one next to that. Well, it's good for you in the morning. You've been training today? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. How was it? It was good. Yeah? I need this, You get I? beaten up? No. Well, you know, weren't boxing. Right, let's have a look at this Pikes Peak. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Say so when. That'll do ya. Sweet. Right, so here is the Pikes Peak and the V4S next to each other. There are some differences. Look at, I mean, look at the paintwork on this. It just looks so nice. It really does make the bike look good. Um, this bike has had some extras. Now, we have been delayed for this video a little bit because we was waiting for the full system to be put on the bike, but it's still on back order. It's got the Rizoma reservoirs on it. It's got some hand guards on it. Um, the Pikes Peak comes with the dark screen rather than the standard screen um, obviously the biggest difference the Olin suspension and it's got the 17 inch front wheel whereas the Multistrada V4S has got the 19 inch front wheel this has had the red Brembo's put on it which you can put on your Panigale and stuff as well they look awesome other massive difference the single sided swing arm as opposed to the conventional swing arm so usually these have got a red back seat um, but this has got the heated seats put on it thank god and the heated grips because it is still a little bit cold let's get my gear on we'll take out the Multistrada v4s first uh, we have done videos on that so we won't do too much on that and then we'll take out the pikes peak and uh see how different it feels this is a lovely bit there look, yeah, at, look that. at that that really does that carbon what, and that grill amazing what a bit of tin grill can do yeah isn't it to the i keep saying normal but we know the multistrada v4s ain't normal is it they're not a normal bike no it does freezing now, i know it's freezing you're going, you're going out of here yeah you're going to ride it aren't you? yeah before it rains because we're supposed to have rain now it's pretty windy so let's go Right, so first one, the Multistrada V4S. The usual conditions. So what I've got to say about the V4S, if you've not seen the other videos on this, on the Multistrada V4S, it is such a good bike. Um, I know the Pikes Peak is supposed to be a little bit better, but not better, let's not say it's better, because um, it's actually got less on it than the Multistrada. A lot of stuff like heated seats and things like that. These heated grips are nice though. Look at that gear shift, it's so good. Right, so the Multistrada V4S, you know, I've done other videos on this and like, you know, I think it is just awesome. It does everything you want it to do. As a road bike, this is just another level. I'm in jeans, I've got the heated seat and I've got the heated grips on. I'm fine, mate. And I've got the V4 engine to keep my legs warm. I did want to ride this and just feel what the sort of front feels like turning. Um, obviously, this has got the 19-inch front wheel. The Pikes Peak's got the 17-inch front wheel, which should make it turn quicker and a little easier. But to be honest, I've never ridden this V4 Multistrada V4 and thought, oh, if only it turns quicker, if only it goes faster. I know the, the Pikes Peak's still got the same engine, same brake horsepower. We have to be a little bit honest, and now we ride on the road, do we actually need it to turn quicker? Because this bike... If you've literally never ridden a Multistrada, seriously, go out and ride one. Go out and buy one. They are so good. So I'm just going to ride this quick. The bit, thing is with a Multistrada, the big wide bars and that, you've got so much control over the bike, it just turns. Yeah, these Multistradas, man, look, they just go. Like I say, handling wise, I've never ridden one of these and thought, you know what they just need to be a little bit sharper they're just brilliant the thing is with like say the bmw gs when you do this just twist the throttle you get a kind of lurchy kind of feeling on this you don't look fifth gear roll on they just go even then you kind of it has with third gear the front wheel just comes up so obviously we're not going to ride this for long it's not a video on the v4s multistrada it's a video on the pikes peak but i wanted to just jump on this i have ridden it loads of times before but i wanted to literally get my leg off of this and onto the pikes peak oh man whatever with the pikes peak these these are so good and there it is look right so hold on we've got you've been 
You've been hiding you know, something. I've got a gift. The gift says you Christ. can't do videos without biscuits. Oh, I was like, exactly. Whoa. What have we got? I don't know. Up, I've not opened yeah. them yet. But yeah, nobody's... They're, they're my favourite. And there's mine. They're, they're, my cr <laughs> oh, they're golden crunch. Golden crunch. You like them, don't you? I like them ones. Look, I love them. Oh, you're you not do gonna have one of them now. Chocolate ones. Oh, that's me. That's me. Chocolate chip cookie. Hold on. Everyone's been playing for you. You were those a minute ago. No, oh, I've got no, these. Don't you be looking at none of these. Go. You got them. Look at this. You got them. You got them. We need to put them in. Who's got these? The sign has got an empty box. <laughs> we need a tin. Yeah. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? We are opening them now. He can't help it. He's in. They're fucking M and S as well. I've never, I've never ate so good in my life. There we are. Andy. Well, that's a good start for the day, isn't it? Very good. Yeah. In I don't think the day started yet. We've been eating since we got here. <laughs> Who was it? Alan gave us the biscuits. Alan. What biscuits were they? They've gone already. Yeah. Where they gone? Leon. <laughs> <laughs> see this? I think these two go out shoplifting. You see how quick how that little pass over? Like that, <laughs> now we'll take out the Pikes Peak. Right, so obviously the Multi Strider V4S is awesome. We're gonna get some fuel. Alright, so the Pikes Peak. Just moving like this. Look, I'm just moving my hips. The bike moves. Um, I do know I am very lucky to ride one of these bikes because you ain't going to get a ride on a Pikes Peak unless, like me, you know someone. So we're going to put some miles on this. Quick shifter, just as good. Basically it's the same as the Multistrada V4S with engine wise. It's just that with the swing arm different, the suspension different and the smaller front wheel, the handling's a bit different. The sun's come out a little bit for the Pikes Peak. Must be something good. Where I was talking about the, um, like on the Multistrada, I mean every time you ride the normal Multistrada V4, the suspension's so good on it. The handling's good on it. The engine is brilliant. Like I say, I've never really ridden that bike and thought, you know what? It just needs this little bit extra. But this, uh, it, it just, <laughs> I can't, this turns so quick. I would, and I would say, probably for the everyday rider, maybe too quick. So don't worry just yet if you've got a multi strada V4S. So we better go and get some fuel because we ain't got nothing in here. And we can see how much it is to fill it up. Let's go in the petrol station and um, get some fuel. I had to get some in my van. It was like £1.80 a litre. It's a joke. All right, let's see how much fuel this thing takes. So we've got to put the Supreme in this. Pay cashier. All right. So for now, I'll just put in 32 quid. Man, look how cool that bike looks. Oh, it just looks so good. All right, so we've got the fuel. Um, so basically, the the uh, Pikes Peak, although it's got the Odins and the single-sided swing arm and the smaller front wheel and this fantastic livery that it's got on it, it just looks so good. If you compare this to the V4S, which would basically just be, you know, a standard V4S with, say, the radar on it, that's going to cost you just over 20 grand. One of these is going to cost you just over 25 grand. So there's five grand difference to a similar spec V4. Um, obviously, you can go up, you can get the uh, V4S, put some more stuff on it, and it'd be like 22 grand or something. But what this does do is ride slightly different. Well, a lot different. Uh, when I said in the sneak peek video that, you know, it's like a supermoto, now I didn't mean that it's stiff, hard, and all that, it's how quick it turns. Now, like, I'm riding along here now, and I'm literally, I'm just moving, I'm just moving my hips a tiny bit. I'm not leaning off the bike or nothing. If you actually move on the bike, it tips. For me and how I ride, the Mike Strider Pikes Peak is better. That's just because our I ride. I don't go touring, I don't go commuting, I don't sit in a group with a couple of my mates doing, you know, 60 mile an hour. You know, I do like the naked bikes, like the Street Fighter and that. <laughs> They're brilliant. It's so nice. I've not even got on the heated seats or the grips. Let's put the grips on one.
like I say, sorry for the delay in the video. We was waiting to put a full system on this, but it is still on back order. So in the end, I just thought, you know what? Let's just ride it and do this. Yeah, we're not gonna go fast, but this bike, it just, it's too much, look. Man, it is good. It's quite a windy day. And on a big bike, usually you'd notice it, but it's just so easy. Man, what a bike. Anyone out there if wants to buy me one, <laughs> know what I mean? It's 25 grand, look. The Multi Strada V4S is awesome. Anyone who's got one, you know how awesome that bike is. It does everything you want it to do. The handling's brilliant. Um, again, in the bikes, people when we was chatting at the end, they probably put this front wheel. They was probably gonna put this front wheel in the uh, normal Multi Strada V4, but I think they just probably thought, you know what, it's too much, it turns too quick. If you want to blast down the lanes, this thing will eat anything. I mean, this bike on a track is going to be incredible. Even while you're just using this at six, seven thousand revs, it just, it's unbelievable. I've literally never ridden a bike like this before. You pulling these at between five and seven thousand revs, they just go through the gears, bosh, 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 and you're at a speed you don't need to rev these bikes. Again, quick shift is brilliant, but look, I'm just coming up here thinking of moving. Turn, this is, look, I'm not pushing anything on my arms. I'm not really doing anything on the pegs. Just moving my hips. And the bike turns. That's crazy. I'm just moving my hip a little bit to the side. The bike turning. But it drops in and then it kind of drops a little bit more. Alright, so yeah, I've been riding this bike's peak a little bit. And, um, <laughs> man, what a crazy bike. But this is so easy, so sharp handling and precise. If you just steer this bike with your bum. You put no effort in on the foot pegs. The Multi Strada V4 is effortless anyway. But this, it's just unbelievable. And if you do move about on the bike a bit, the suspension is so good in the mid corner, and as you get on the throttle, you would not think you was on a big bike like this at all. What a bike. You know, some people still like sports bikes. I like the look of sports bikes. I love riding the naked bikes. Things like the multi striders have never been my kind of thing I look at and I really love to look at, apart from this bike's peak. Because it's got a wind that's coming across there. Yeah, apart from this bike's peak, because it, it does look sporty. Oh man, it's so good. Look at it. What can I say? I don't want to say this is better than the V4S. Anyone who's got a multi strada anyway, you know that it's effortless to ride that bike. Like to ride it at any speed. Um, what you're probably riding on your sports bike and concentrating doing it. On something like a multi strada, you're doing them same speeds without hardly thinking of it because it's so easy what this does is turn that up 10 notches 
and I know this is the Pikes Peak for doing um, the Pikes Peak race out in America um, I can't even imagine what this would be like on a mountain road just down these little lanes <laughs> they're brilliant on a racetrack on a mountain roads man yeah, I mean watch out everyone if you do it if you're on the road and you see a Pikes Peak even if you see one in your mirrors you know watch out because it won't be in your mirrors for long you'll be seeing the back of it in no time it is so good I want one <laughs> please please let me have one Is it better suspension? Yes. Does it look better? Yes. Does it turn better? Yes. Is it needed? Well, only you can decide on that five grand, but don't get me wrong. As we always say, as we've ridden them loads, the Multistrada V4 is such an exceptional bike. This is just literally a pimped up version of it. This bends brilliant on a bike without a lorry in front of it. Are we all right to go? Oh man, give me one of these. Um, speed wise, these they're, they're the same really. Um, these are something like three kilos lighter, I think. I think dry weight, the Multistrada is about 217, this is about 214. So, not much in it. But this thing will just make you do silly things. And I'm going to go out on a bit of a limb here and uh, sort of say, for me, this is the best bike Ducati have ever made. Oh, what a bike. Yeah, did I say whatever about the Pikes Peak? Man, that's fucking crazy. Well, so that's the Multistrada V4 Pikes Peak. I mean, what an amazing bike. I've never ridden a bike like this. It just turns so good. It's so easy, effortless. You're literally steering it with your bum. A bit like a supermoto, you know, where you kind of look and just as you kind of switch your balance a little bit, it's already turning. What a wicked bike. I mean, literally, what a wicked bike. Whoever's got one of these, you are very lucky. But yeah, as for the V4S, um, it probably is, as just the road bike, still the better road bike. Yeah, the Pikes Peak's got the better bits on it, and, you know, it's sharper handling, it's faster handling, but we're not riding like that on the road every day. And uh, for me, the Pikes Peak's the best, but the V4S is the better road bike. You know, and if you're doing touring or traveling around, then really, this is the bike that you're gonna wanna buy. Just riding down them, little, them roads there, the only suspension is better, but for them kind of roads, this suspension's better because uh, it just soaks it up a little bit better than the Odin's. So yeah, there's good things to say about the V4S and there's good things to say about the Pikes Peak. But uh, whatever you choose, uh, you're going to have a blast. As always guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If this is the kind of thing you're into all things bikes, then maybe think about hitting that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. You're going to eat some food? I might eat some food. So that was alright then. Getting to ride the Pikes Peak. The Pikes Peak was unbelievable. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it is, isn't it? From it's not as stable as the Multistrada V4S. It turns instantly. It feels like it reacts. It feels like there's a small ball between the forks. No wheel, do you know what I mean? Well, it was actually my small balls. <laughs> that bike is, is incredible. I don't remember the other Pikes Peak being as nice as that. No. They've improved it again, haven't they? Yeah, but that's the whole thing. They've improved the, um, obviously, the V4 over the 1260. Yeah. It feels like a hypermotor on the front, doesn't it? Yeah. Like that sort of quick turning. Oh, it's very light, very fast. And I rode that, as you did, back to back, immediately after that V2, Roy Corsa. <laughs> Roy Corsa. Yeah, but I did ride the Multistrada V4 straight away. When we swapped over, I loved the V2, ridden it loads of times, the Panigale. I got off of that Pikes Peak onto the Bayless V2, which is so good anyway. Yeah. All right, maybe we're older. 
But I just thought, why? I rode the V2, the Bayless, it's incredible. But then I got off. I got straight on to the to the Pikes Peak. <laughs> what did it feel like? So comfortable, so quick steering, heated, and powerful. Really heated seat. The grips were too hot, I yeah. turned them down. I think really, if they say what most people are actually riding like, the Multistrada V4S is stabler. It's probably more suited just for that. But now, if you want to be like John Rambo, in Rambo 3 coming out with fucking rocket launchers, guns, crossbows, everything. That's the Pikes Peak. Yeah. <laughs> You're ready for anything. Can you imagine what that's like on yeah, a track like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you'd embarrass people on Panagalis, wouldn't you? It's it just feels safe, doesn't it? Look at that, look at them roads then. Yeah? Yeah. What would you rather have been twisting the throttle on and going into a bend on? Yeah, absolutely. Roads are not great, are they? It's getting damp, mm. but you don't think of that on that bike. Do no, you, you don't think of it. On the normal Multistrada, I've done it on that. Just, well, let's go. Weren't even really thinking of the conditions. No. As soon as I got on that V2, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was immediately thinking that as we pull out that muddy bit of thing, don't yeah. all that shit on me tyres, I don't yeah. yeah. You're lucky, ain't ya? Lucky man, ain't ya? They call you lucky man, don't they? <laughs> they call me lucky lucky man. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are very lucky being able to ride these things and, and not having to pay for them. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Out of all those, I, I would have that Pikes Peak. Yeah, so if you could have any Ducati right now, yeah, what would you it would have? Be that. It would be that. Yeah. I like the Street Fighters, but the Pikes Peak is... Why? It's just... You carry people on it and luggage and go anywhere. You wouldn't worry about the weather. Look what we've done to the floor. Terrible. I think we should get out of here quick. Before anyone knows it's us. <laughs> that I we've made the dirt. I think you'll follow the footprints. Yeah, but if we go out this way... I think we two. should have borrowed somebody else's shoes to come in here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>